Hey, what's up everyone? Hope everyone's having a great end to the weekend. Uh, today we're going to talk about a few coins that sometimes pass through, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, pocket change that, um, that, that would certainly warrant a, um, a question or an inquiry. And uh, just uh, in the course of going through the hundreds of comments uh, on my YouTube feeds, and by the way, I'm trying real hard to get caught up on this um, amount of comments. There's just so much of them. Um, uh, this is one of those topics that have come up in the course of my research, and um, hopefully I can address it in this one video. Now, it's one specific type of maybe error that you've come across. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. Now, some of you have maybe come across a coin that looks like this. It, it looks silvered, unplated, and to be absolutely frank and honest with you, it, it kind of, kind of looks steel, uh, because, um, the 1943 steel sense oxidize and wear the same way. Now the question is, do I have a legitimate error? when I come across these. Now, I'm gonna warn you guys, when it comes to unplated um, zinc scents, there is a natural and unnatural way that these are produced. Um, when the the blank strips uh, are produced and then the planchets are struck out of them, uh, it, it's a full strip, so it's not out of the realm of possibility that if a strip is unfinished and a blank is punched toward the end of the strip to where it might have like say a ragged clip or perhaps an unplated finish on the end that could be a total possibility and that's where something like this comes into play the unnatural way of finding or kind of experimenting with your own unplated scent is just by using um acid um hydrofluoric acid, I believe, can remove the copper plating off these zinc scents. Now, when you do that, zinc is super inert. So once it comes into contact with that acid, it's actually going to immediately eat at the surface of the coin. You'll begin to see craters. It, it becomes almost unrecognizable. So in the case of an unplated scent that has been chemically altered to look unplated, would stand out like nothing else. Uh, these coins, I would say over time, are made to deteriorate and just go away. And then eventually, you know what, the US will decide to stop minting these things because they, because they cost so much. So, this is a genuine unplated specimen that's just seen circulation. It's, it's, it has all of the pertinent detail for the strike okay if it was chemically altered again it would be pitted all the crap and it wouldn't be worth anything you know you might be able to get a penny out of it if you stick it in a roll and bring it back to the bank if you're lucky uh plated scents don't come up in circulation all too often uh and i'll just go ahead and throw up a normal scent so these pla unplated scents don't come out in the circulation too much and they're most mo most mistakenly passed off as a dime uh which is, believe it or not that's how i obtained this 1986 d specimen now here's the kicker to this whole thing i, I mean it looks cool and it looks pretty rare to where you know you can actually make a few bucks on it and that you know unfortunately is all it's worth the um Unplated scent errors, believe it or not, are only worth between one and five dollars. This one probably toward the low end because it's you know been passed around, um, like like yesterday's news. So you guys, if you find something like this, don't lose sleep over it. In a sense, you can make a dollar or two off of it. Uh, if it's uncirculated, you can make probably closer to five ten dollars. It's uh, it's one of those errors that are, you know they're not terribly hard to find, and they're out there available to you. And if you see one slabbed, I'd pick one, pick them, pick it up slabbed, 
because someone obviously wasted the money for the fees for the slabbing. But in any event, if you find a coin like this that's unplated and it looks true to form to where it's not chemically altered, then you know you have something there. So before I uh, head out for the evening, okay, I'm going to put up one more video of a truly tremendous find. Someone really knows their coins when this collector found a certain coin on eBay and is going to make a ton of money off of it or keep it in a collection as a masterpiece. But that'll be coming up here real soon. Okay, second of all, Central States auction is this week it hits this week i'm i am certainly gonna update you on auctions okay there's a there's a pretty big auction through heritage that will that will highlight a lot of central states pieces a lot of really neat coins that we will talk about and look at together and um third all right as a result of going through all of the comments, and thank you guys for commenting, I appreciate it. There, there's going to become a point, okay, in the in all the popularity that my channel has taken off to, that I'm not going to be able to address every single comment, every inquiry. Uh, there are a few things that people have said that have caught my attention to where it warrants some sort of response. But if you guys want an instant answer, go to any one of the forum chat pages I'm going to highlight here for you today. Cointalk.com, CoinCommunity.com, Collector's Universe, hosted by PCGS. My top three. If you guys want an answer now, and you know how to take clear and precise photos of your coin, that is the place to go to. All right, if you need an answer now, today. Again, thank you for the fantastic comments, whether good, bad, or indifferent. You know, um, I'm not going to please 100% of the people all the time. Uh, there will be things that I am going to talk about or say that may not strike a chord with a lot of you, and that's fine. Okay, it, there are some things that are controversial. There are some things that, you know, as much as you try and put as much fact and supporting evidence behind why a coin, you know, is this or that or sells for, you know, X amount of dollars. Uh, you can be sure that I may use that to the best of my knowledge. And, and I think that's it. Um, that's been kind of one of the main things this week that I've been focusing on was just going through the comments. A lot of folks are still putting up their phone numbers and email addresses, guys. I'm not buying these coins. I'm telling you where they're being sold and for how much. Again, I've put up a video for grading. And if you guys need an answer on what a coin is or what, it, what it's supposed to be or how much it's worth, try out those forum chat pages. But anyways, I've talked to your guys' ear enough. You guys have a fantastic week. Uh, check out Heritage.com. Check out some of those central states um coins that are going to be showcased a lot of fantastic pieces i i went through the whole catalog a lot of beautiful classics a lot of rarities a lot of moderns of course that's my thing you know we'll be talking about that too but in any event go ahead check it out and you guys have a fantastic week all right it's april this year is in full swing and i will catch you later see you guys